Okay, this is a video of my somewhat dirty new purchase. So 2006 Toyota Prius iTech, which has been converted to a plug-in hybrid. As you can see, it has an extra fuel flap to allow you to plug in when you get home. Um, in the trunk, I now have 32 40 amp hour uh, Calb Sky Energy uh, lithium ion phosphate batteries wired up in a 16S2P configuration to give um, 48 volts 80 amp hours. There's a large DC to DC converter which kicks up the 48 volts coming out of the lithium ion to 240 volts before it gets fed into the car's standard high voltage traction battery. Over here we have a BMS master unit which controls um, discharge and charging of the battery. The charger itself, you can't see it, it's mounted down below uh, all of this in the spare wheel well. Um, cells here, if I can get a bit of a shot without the sun on them. The cells have modules connected to them which communicate to the BMS and stop charge or discharge if any cell goes too high or too low. Um, it's a 25 amp charger, takes about three and a half hours to do a full charge. Um, I'll, when I've got the lid back on it doesn't live like this, there is a, uh, a metal lid and carpet that goes over it, I'll show that in a few seconds. The, um, uh, we'll come up to the front and I'll show you how the kit actually works. Alright, so... Up here behind the scan gauge 2, there's a state of charge meter for the extra plug-in battery pack. So if we turn the ignition on, put on the brake, on, turn the kit off, and put EV mode so the engine doesn't start, you can see right now, oh you will shortly, yeah, okay so with the kit turned off, the car is currently drawing uh, 1.9 amps, just sitting here stationary, not moving. Um, if I turn the kit back on, you'll notice that we have uh, fake regen current going back into the battery pack, and the battery state of charge will rise. So, click on. Now we're putting in around about 13 amps of charge from the lithium ion phosphate batteries because you're offsetting the two amps that it was drawing at idle so you're showing approximately 14 amps going in right now you can see the battery voltage is rising as soon as that battery voltage gets to approximately 240 volts which is the kind of happy level of the HV battery the um, the kit will switch back to about five amps of current and really really and ro it rolls rolls back to almost nothing if it goes much above 240. Um, as you can see, we're, if I can zoom down on the speedo, you can see we're definitely not moving, so there's no regen going on through the wheels. It's all coming in through through the standard battery, the included battery pack, the extra. So, as you see here, there's, as soon as it hits 240, you'll see the amperage will drop, let's go 12.3, it should come down to around 4 or 5, there it is, 6, and it will continue to drop as that battery rises in state of charge. So, I'll just turn it off again now, and turn the car off. So the main reason that I wanted to put that uh, extra plug-in kit is to improve the car's fuel economy. As you can see by this, I'm averaging 2.4 litres per 100. Um, that's on this tank so far. As you can see, 247 kilometres. I haven't put any fuel in it since then. So you can see it's still showing full. It usually drops one bar of fuel at around about 300 kilometres. Um, I, can, I can get about four and a half to five weeks without refuelling in the city. Um, well over a thousand kilometres well over, like we're talking probably 1500 kilometers to 1600 kilometers on 45 liters. Um, the 2.4 to 2.5 liters per 100 of, is verified off the pump, so I'm recording 
the amount of fuel that goes in in litres and then dividing the kilometres to work it out and the numbers on this screen here do fairly accurately re represent the, the true numbers so getting fantastic fuel economy out of this kit okay, so the lid's been bolted back in place to protect the, the cells and the kit the obligatory warning stickers place and now the new piece of carpet's been put back in place so apart from little gaps around the edges which don't really bother me that much um, they allow a little bit of extra cooling for the various components as well um, it's uh, pretty much job done